Hi everyone, it's nice to see you again. I just came back from rabbit hunting and I put most of the rabbits into the freezer, but the rest I'm going to use to make delicious rabbit stew. So rabbit stew is really great because anytime you want to cook wild meat, it's good to slow cook it for a long time. Otherwise it would just taste um, too tough and too lean. This way it will be cooking in the crock pot for about eight to 10 hours. And by the time it's done, the meat will just fall off the bones. So a couple of things you need to keep in mind. The first thing is that you need to separate all the vegetables and everything you use into phases. So basically you're going to take whatever takes the longest to cook, you're going to put those in first, and then the less and less each one takes, the longer, um, the later on you're going to put it in there. So you start with the rabbit, and you cook it for about an hour and I'll show you all that but after that you're going to put in your potatoes, carrots, parsnip, beets these are the things I'm using today what I like about rabbits too is that you can pretty much put anything in there any vegetables you could vary it in the winter you could use more types of squash butternut squash winter squash all these different varieties and maybe even add more types of beans add some black beans pinto beans things like that in the springtime you might want to add more of the leafy vegetables to kind of keep it more light but either way it will just taste great so one tip when you're cooking with a crock pot, when you're cooking a stew, is what I, what I realized in the meanwhile, is that you could speed up the time by boiling the water and the liquid that you need to add. So that way you can probably make this in about eight hours. The other thing I like about the stew is that you could make it at night. You could start maybe at eight o'clock at night, um, add the first few things, and then you go to sleep and then you maybe wake up like at 6 a.m., put the last few things in there, and by the time it should be done. So let's go take a look. I'm going to show you everything I'm doing. But
So we are down to the last hour. By now, I have added everything, including the tomato sauce, the zucchini, the squash, everything. So at this time, you're basically just checking to see if the meat is done. And the way you do that is you pick up a fork and then you just kind of run it through the meat and the meat should become stringy and fall off the bones. And that way it's done. And then you take out, you scoop out all those bones, give them to your dogs, they will be extremely hard, still, and crunchy, not like chicken bones. They will love it. Um, at this point, you're going to double check on all the spices. Chances are you will need to add more salt and just kind of make sure everything is in balance. What I forgot to mention earlier is that I like to have a mild, sweet, and salty taste. So I add a little bit of sugar. So let's go take a look and see how it turned out. So it turned out great. It is delicious as always. Um, I definitely recommend you to try this and you can actually use other type of wild meat. You could use venison or even try bison or you could just use regular beef. It won't take you that long but it will still taste delicious. So I want to thank you so much for watching and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos coming up and also you could find me on Instagram. My name is Hun Tress. 308. Once again, thank you so much and I'll see you soon.